Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Cancer, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 9th to the 15th. This week we have the Trust Your Path Oracle card. We have the Ace of Pentacles, <clears throat> the beautiful Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. So guys, I mean, we obviously have a Ten of Swords ending here. I think some of you may have already been through this. You know, it really is, you know, time, um, divine timing that this needed to happen because I feel like that was the only thing that's standing between you and something far greater. I mean, we're talking wish fulfillment. We're talking ultimate stability and security here. There is some kind of opportunity for either, you know, love or emotional fulfillment coming in for you. So it's actually very exciting energy. And, you know, you're being asked to trust that path, to trust that this is unfolding in the way that it's meant to, even if you might have been in the pain of that Ten of Swords ending, understanding that through every ending, there is the possibility for a new beginning, something far greater than the original situation. So I was going to start off by reading out that Oracle card for you. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? The universe is conspiring. Keep facing your true north. Your job is not to pave the path, but simply to keep facing your true north and take one step after another. If you do this, you can't go wrong. Don't waver or doubt. Use your heart as a compass and put one foot in front of the other. If you follow the invisible trail of what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. Most people don't follow the highest call of their soul because they are waiting to see the end destination before they take the first step. Exactly right, um, Cancer, you know, we need to trust and, you know, it's that full energy about sometimes we need to take leaps of faith or sometimes we just need to go with the flow because we might not know what's behind an ending, you know, what's behind the, the door, you know, when you open it to something new. But we just have to trust that, you know, the universe is really conspiring for us and that's what we see here, guys, in the recent past with this double 10 energy, 10 of swords and wheel of fortune. So this is a very, very definite ending for you. Now, the 10 of swords can be a painful ending, guys. Now, we're talking lots of different levels here, but it can be a betrayal that might have happened to you in love, in the workplace. You'll know what it is for you guys, general reading. Um, you know, it can be a situation that's really burnt you out over time, where you feel, you know, maybe fatigued. There could even be chronic fatigue in the mix. It can be, um, you know, some kind of cheating or backstabbing or deep hurt and friendships and that kind of thing. But, you know, the thing is that this here is really just what's been standing in your way from a whole new, I see a whole new life opening up for you here. So if something like that has come to an end, we have to trust that it's for the right reason. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is the card of divine timing. This is the right time for this to go down, even if it did feel painful. And, you know, with the Ten of Swords, look, it, it, can, it can come because, you know, there have been signs along the way and maybe you've held on to a situation. But maybe, you know, you intuitively held on to it because you knew that, you know, if you did so, then it would all line up at the right time and the right opportunities would come in for you quickly afterwards. You know, we can see here on the skyline that beautiful sunny sky you know the divine is kind of guiding you in this and that lightness is so ready to eclipse that darkness so even if you're in the plane of it now or you've already been through it you just have to trust you have to have trust this path and the wheel of fortune talks about the completing of karmic contracts so some of you might be ending a karmic contract maybe with a karmic partner in you know in the romantic sense a, a karmic lover or who you thought would be a life partner for you. Um, yeah, it can be even in the workplace, that person that just triggered you like crazy, but you learned something from it. The Wheel of Fortune says that the lesson has been learned and now it's time for you to, to move on. It is a card of good fortune. You know, that wheel is turning and they say, look to the cards around it, which directions it's turning. Well, gosh, guys, I mean, these cards are all so positive. So, yeah, it is time, divine timing, it's time for ending, and there's a definite ending here. And I would be excited about this ending, because this ending is leading to things that are far greater. So the focus energies this week, we've got the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups, guys, as you might know, is the Wish Fulfillment card. There's really the opportunity here to 
you know, complete um, a, a goal to be truly fulfilled on an emotional level. Be content with your life again. I mean, the Four of Cups, lots of different interpretations, but here we also have that sense of the fact that you might have, you know, withdrew, withdrawn your situa your energy from the situation that you were in because it just wasn't fulfilling you. Some of you might have become quite bored in a situation because you were waiting for that right cup to come along, that right emotional offer. And I think that's what you truly desired. And I really feel that this week there is the um, potential for something to happen in that realm. So maybe you might be offered um, an emotional offer by somebody. It could be an apology. It can be um, an offer of new love. Um, even just the inklings of it. Definitely. And if you look at this, guys, we have the Nine of Cups here. You're potentially going to be offered that final piece because nine plus one equals the Ten of Cups. And we know that the Ten of Cups is that ultimate card of abundance, joy, love, happiness, and harmony. So the promise here is that you're finding your missing pieces and you are heading towards something really great, something very, very happy. So it's an amazing energy. With this combination too, I would definitely get manifesting. I would dream big and wish big. The three cups at the front here are just like the little nod to creation, manifestation. And this person here is somebody who knows how to work that equation to expand and, you know, to be really proud of the achievements that you've had. Um, this is about being content. It's about reaching another level in the emotional satisfaction stake. So really beautiful energy. And where's it heading? Well, somewhere very stable, very secure, and very abundant. Look at this. Four of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, if you do get an offer from somebody, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic, but I am feeling that. And for those of you that are already partnered, it can be a deepening of your current commitment. Because this can be the marriage card, guys. And I'm just saying, you know, we're going from wish fulfillment and emotional offers to to, to marriage, celebration, stability and security here. Some of you may get engaged in the near future. Some of you may celebrate a wedding with others. Some of you may have your own wedding or a deepening of commitment. But both of these cards say deep security. Now the Ace of Pentacles can be some kind of monetary um, gain coming in. Some of you might have gained something out of this ending even, maybe if it went through uh, a legal kind of situation. But this also can be an offer of stability. So for me, this can be an engagement because somebody is offering you stability to have an abundant life with you. And it comes after a period of darkness, after somebody who's walked a path, climbed a mountain. When you were in this energy here, you probably couldn't ever imagine happiness for your life. But you know, here it is, it was on the other side of that darkness. So yeah, it can be money coming in, it can be gifting. For me, I think this is the universe gifting on, you know, gifting something to you after a difficult time. And it really is something that um, can go the distance. We have the 1111 formation here, which is uh, about synchronicity. So it would definitely be on the lookout for those chance meetings, chance encounters or signs. They can come out of nowhere. And I do feel that because the Four of Cups also shows this emotional offer kind of coming out of nowhere. You might think, oh, but I've just ended something. Hey, divine timing just does its thing, guys, things, guys. And um, sometimes <laughs> it might not feel like it's the right timing, but you have to trust because we're going to trust the path. So, yeah, I mean, ultimate stability, ultimate security, wish fulfillment, satisfaction, four sides of a square, the most stable structure, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. So just remember, through every dark ending is a new beginning right behind it. And you have like four of the most beautiful cards here. So I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. I um, hope you enjoyed the reading. This is very exciting. So get excited. Trust your path. It's unfolding for you exactly as it should, all in divine timing. Um, remember, it's a general reading, so it won't be for everyone. But there's always a piece in each reading for each person. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Always love to know how it's unfolding in your daily life and I'll see you back here next week for another reading.